Let's kick things off by talking about how to size an image. One of the things I hear most often is how do I crop to a specific ratio? For example, maybe you need to put an image into a slide presentation, or you're getting ready to drop it into a video that's 16 by 9. Maybe you have a printed frame that's a 5 by 7, or a 1 by 1 square image for something like Instagram. Well, this is pretty easy. Let me show you. Start by selecting an image you want to work with. Then just double click to open it up. Now, click over to Develop to select the Develop module. In the corner here, you'll notice a tool, the Crop Overlay. The shortcut is R. This will allow you to select the Crop tool. Immediately below it are different controls. You'll notice that the default here is the Original Ratio. This will force you to crop using the original ratio or shape of the photo. If you click the lock icon here, it's now unconstrained and you are free to crop independently, adjusting the width and the height to taste. You can also choose different sizes. For example, let's go with a common 4x5 here. And you see we can recompose the image. This also equates to an 8x10. As you drag here, you'll also note that it'll start to snap. So if you drag up, it's switched here to the 4x5, and if I drag to the right, it's the 5x4 aspect ratio. This is pretty common for landscape versus portrait orientation. From the pop-up list, you'll notice that there are many different choices. So if this was for a video project, I could choose 16x9. And now it takes on the more standard aspect ratio used by televisions and displays. You may also notice as you drag that there are different types of overlays. It's currently showing a grid. This is helpful if you want to check to make sure something is straight. For example, I see the edge of the building lines up with the grid and that the road appears to be straight, which is useful. If you need to, you can click the Tools menu here and choose Crop Guide Overlay. Notice, for example, we could switch the lower thirds if we wanted to place our subject, placing our building here at one of the intersection points for the rule of thirds. These different overlays are useful to cycle through. You'll find that there's a variety of options here. If you press the O key, it goes through the different choices. And for example, here we have the golden spiral, which shows the way that we would look for interest. This helps me position this a little bit better so the viewer's eye is guided from the building over to the tree. Again, pressing the O key offers different methods so you could see the overlays. For most people, the grid or the rule of thirds is going to be most useful. Once you're ready, just click the return button and it's applied. You see that you quickly get the crop. When you go to the next tool and you press the key, you'll notice that you basically start over. Cropping is independent image to image. So if you need to crop to 16 by 9 for this photo as well, you would need to adjust. Pressing that O key, I could cycle through the different overlays here. And using the grid, I'm just checking that things are more or less aligned. That's looking pretty good as I look at these pillars here. And the window, I see nice straight vertical lines. Let's just adjust the composition a little bit here. We'll open up that crop a little bit more to include the top of the archway and press the return key to apply it. The shortcut key for crop is the R key, which will make it very easy. And the O key lets you cycle through the different overlays. Remember, cropping is non-destructive, so this makes it easy to crop to a specific size. If for some reason you need to make a change, feel free. You can always reset it back. And if cropping is something you need to do to deliver multiple sizes, there's a technique for that as well. You can always select your image here and choose to create a virtual copy. This creates a second version without adding more to the disk space. Now I could press the R key and assign a different crop, such as the 5x7 crop, and press return. You now see we have two different deliveries based upon the same photo with different compositions. Cropping is non-destructive, so you can always go back and make a change if you need to refine it, changing the overall crop or adjusting for a different deliverable size.